वेलकम टू वन मेगा वीडियो चैनल सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल लाइक द वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स In this video we will see some of the interesting facts about Prince Joachim of Denmark and his family. This is part 2 of the video. Check the part 1 in the end. Even though Prince Joachim of Denmark have no history of illness, in the year 2020 on 24th of July, Prince Joachim of Denmark was admitted in emergency and operated urgently for a blood clot that happened in his brain. The successful surgery took place in Toulouse University Hospital in France. The hospital's doctor gave assessment after the surgery that Prince Joachim is perfectly fit and fine and will not have any physical or any other consequences as a result of the blood clot. The blood clot happened due to the sudden dissection of an artery. The hospital experts claim that chance of recurrence is very small after the artery is healed. Prince Joachim has participated in historic Grand Prix of Copenhagen many times. He loves motorsports, car racing and enjoys it thoroughly. Prince Joachim presented and co-produced six-part series of documentary in which he has done investigation related to Denmark's history, studying events and ideas of the past and present. It was made for Denmark's radio. The documentary was named Prince Joachim Forteller. Prince Joachim of Denmark has participated in GTC TC Championship in classic car race event. He shared the drive of BMW 2002 with Derek Bell according to the Dance Ruby Union DRU the website names Prince Joachim as the patron of the DRU In the year 1978 when Prince Joachim was 9 years old it was written in the will of Count Hans Schenk that the estate of Schenkensburg Castle will be granted to which at the age of 24 Prince Joachim of Denmark as per the will in the year 1993 he took over the Schenkensburg Castle estate which is situated in southern Jutland in Mongeltonder town for restoration of this estate fund was allotted as a national gift from the people of Denmark with the amount of 13 million DKK which people collected was reserved for castle restoration the fund was utilized for the same by prince joachim of denmark and his first wife who is currently countess of fredericksburg and by the year 1999 the restoration work of the estate was completed prince joachim and his wife took decision of divorce in the year 2005 together they have two kids countess alexandra decided to take her two sons along with her in copenhagen prince joachim on the other hand remained in schenkensburg castle estate prince joachim married his second wife princess marie with whom he stayed from the year 2007 until 2014 in the same estate for around 7 years later the estate was handed over for good to Schenkensburg Foundation which had on board Prince Joachim Bitten and Mads Clausen Foundation along with Ole Kirk's Foundation and Eco Holding later Prince Joachim of Denmark along with Princess Marie and their children relocated to north of Copenhagen and Klampenburg leaving behind the castle currently the castle is mainly used for holiday purpose only by the royals and is taken care by the foundation As we know that Prince Joachim of Denmark's official residence in Denmark is in Copenhagen at the Emil Ekelbjerg Royal Palace. In the year 2020 in April, he announced that his family will stay in Schenkensburg Castle in Denmark when they are not staying in Paris, France. Prince Joachim and Princess Marie is board member of the foundation of Schenkensburg Castle and have lived periodically for a number of times in this castle earlier and they keep returning to live there occasionally. This is the place where Princess Marie feels at home the most. This is the castle where Princess Marie and prince joachim got married and their children were born this home is dear to her the most and makes her feel at home In the year 1987, Prince Joachim enlisted himself as a fresh recruit in the Queen's Life Regiment, where he first entered the NCO school. After completing the lieutenant school, he served in the Prince's Life Regiment in the first battalion, three oblique one PLR, third tank squadron, as platoon commander for the year between 1989 to 1990. Later, after two years, to become captain, he entered in the Royal Danish Military Academy course for reserve officers. In the year 1992, then later, after four years, he joined in the Prince's Life Regiment. in the 2nd battalion 3 oblique 2nd plr 3rd tank squadron as commander in between the years 1996 till 2004 
One year later, Prince Joachim of Denmark was in the staff of Dansk Division as staff officer in the year 2005. Then six years later, at the defense region of Fjun and South Jutland, he was a liaison officer from the year 2011. Then four years later, Prince Joachim was in the Royal Danish Army in appointment as special advisor to the chief of defense in the year 2015. Then after four years, as discussed earlier, Prince Joachim, along with Princess Marie and their two children, moved to France, Paris, for completing his military career goals in the year 2019. In the summer months, with invitation from the French Minister of Defense, he enrolled for the highest ranking military educational program at Ecole Militaire. One year later, in the year 2020, on 26th of June, Prince Joachim graduated and became the first Danish officer to complete a two-part special education in France and achieved a very important milestone of his military career life. Due to newly acquired educational merits at Ecole Militaire earlier in the year 2020 in France, Prince Joachim of Denmark was promoted to Brigadier General position by the Danish Secretary of Defence, subsequently at the Royal Danish Embassy in France, Paris by the Danish Ministry of Defence. Prince Joachim was named as military attache in the year 2020. On 1st September, he commenced his new position. He is expected to hold this position for at least three years, along with maintaining his royal engagements and patronages in Denmark whenever possible. As discussed earlier during his time in France while in vacation at Chateau de Caix in the year 2020 on 24th of July for surgery on a blood clot in his brain, Prince Joachim was admitted to Toulouse University Hospital. In early August, his surgery was successful and was discharged. If we look at the timeline of Prince Joachim of Denmark's achievements in his military career, he has gradually climbed many military ranks over the years. In Denmark, in the year 1988, he became sergeant. The next year, in 1989, he was in reserve as second lieutenant. The next year, in 1990, he became first lieutenant in the reserve. Then two years later, in the year 1992, in the reserve, he became captain. Then in 2005, after 13 years, he became major in the reserve. Then after six years, in 2011, he became lieutenant colonel in the reserve. Then in the year 2015, he became colonel in the reserve. After four years, in the year 2020, five years after, he climbed to the brigadier general rank in his 32 years of service in Danish military. Prince Joachim of Denmark has also a business mind and have been successfully running his farming and forestry operations. He has completed his studies in agrarian economics from Den Klasinke Agribugo School, Nasgard, in the year 1993. From his experience based on conventional agriculture, he is running his businesses over the years. Plus, he also has royal salary which he receives. Along with military achievements from three decades, he also got chance to perform his dream job in the year 2020 in September month as diplomat at the Danish Embassy in Paris, France. He is working hard on multiple tasks and have many feathers in his hat. Prince Joachim have styled with the title from his birth, His Royal Highness Prince Joachim of Denmark, from the year 1969, from 15th of July till year 2008, from 29th April. Later, Queen Margaret II granted the title to her male land descendants from the year 2008, from 29th of April till present. He is His Royal Highness Prince Joachim of Denmark, Count of Montpezat. In Danish language, his official title is Hans Kongilej Hojid, Joachim Prince Still Denmark, Grieve of Montpezat. Prince Joachim of Denmark has received various national and international honors under his name over the years. Some of his national honors received from Denmark are Knight of the Order of the Elephant RE, Grand Commander of the Order of Denmark SKMD on 10th June 1992, recipient of the Silver Anniversary Medal of Queen Margaret II and Prince Henrik on 14 January 1997, recipient of the Silver Jubilee Medal of Her Majesty the Queen on 11 June 2009, recipient of the commemorative 75th Birthday Medal of His Royal 
Royal Highness the Prince Consort. On 16th April 2010, recipient of the commemorative 70th Birthday Medal of Her Majesty the Queen. On 14th January 2012, recipient of the commemorative Ruby Jubilee Medal of Her Majesty the Queen. On 16th April 2015, recipient of the commemorative 75th Birthday Medal of Her Majesty the Queen. On 10th June 2017, recipient of the Golden Anniversary Medal of Queen Margaret II and Prince Hendrik. On 11th June 2018, recipient of the Prince Hendrik Commemorative Medal. On 16th April 2020, recipient of the commemorative 80th Birthday Medal of Her Majesty the Queen. Also recipient of the commemorative Golden Jubilee Medal. of Queen Margaret II Prince Joachim of Denmark has received various international honors under his name over the years. Some of his international honors are as follows: From Belgium, he received Knight Grand Cross of the Order of the Crown. From Brazil, Grand Cross of the Order of the Southern Cross. From Bulgaria, First Class of the Order of the Balkan Mountains in the year 2006. From Finland, Grand Cross of the Order of the White Rose of Finland. From France, Grand Officer of the Order of the Legion of Honor. From Germany, Grand Cross First Class of the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany. From Greece, Grand Cross of the Order of the Phoenix. From Iceland, Grand Cross of the Order of the Falcon. From Japan, Grand Cordon of the Order of the Chrysanthemum. From Jordan, Knight Grand Cordon of the Supreme Order of the Renaissance. From Luxembourg, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of the Adolf of Nassau. From Mexico, Grand Cross of the Order of the Aztec Eagle. From Nepal, on the 13th October 1989, Member Grand Cross of the Order of the Three Divine Powers. From the Netherlands, on 17th March 2015, Knight Grand Cross Cross of the Order of the Crown from Norway Grand Cross of the Order of St Olaf from Romania Grand Cross of the Order of the Star of Romania from Sweden Commander Grand Cross of the Order of the Polar Star This is the end of part 2 of the video check the part 1 over here in this second part we saw the period in which he got surgery for his blood clot his recovery phase his passion for motor sports and car racing he and his family stay in shakenburg castle estate his love for farming and his business mind his military education the ranks in military which he climbed over the years his family life in france his achievements in defense forces the national and international honors which he has received and some more details from part 1 and part 2 we have tried to cover some of the basic aspects in prince joachim's life journey till date prince joachim of denmark is from among one of the most followed danish royals and is respected for his service for the country he dedicatedly pursued and achieved his goals in military service for his nation his life has got many ups and downs but he no matter what challenges he has faced has persistently worked towards betterment and become a role model for his fans family members and young generation He always stands by his elder brother and fulfilled his duties and patronages over the years. He faced his marital issues in sporting way and balanced his personal life in righteous way. Even after rumors and hearsay, he maintained an equilibrium of his mind and faced the issues and removed the doubts in the minds of people. All the Danish royals have great understanding for each other and has impressed the royal fans. Time and again, looking at this video, which are the facts which you were not aware of earlier and have newly learned from this video, and what do you love about the Danish royal family, and what other known and unknown facts that you are aware of about this family? Share your thoughts to comment below, like the video, and share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching my mega video channel. Enjoy your life and have a nice day.